everyone. I'm Crystal. I was going to pull two of these cards, right? And then the only few of the green ones, one of them fell out. It was a career. And then you have Wedge. So somebody is trying to become come in between you and a friend or something that you want. This could be in your career. Somebody may be trying to get like the position that you want or somebody may be trying to get, um, you know, a raise or, you know, get the job over you. OK, this is a journey carriage, either physical or mental. So this may be something that you guys are going to really have to kind of try to keep it together. Stay positive. Okay, try not to like worry yourself too much with negative thinking or stressing yourself out. Whatever's meant for you will come to you. And believe me, um, spirit will make sure of that. Okay, so obviously this is very specific. So let's see who this person is. The Knight of Swords and the Judgment card. Okay, so this could be somebody that's like, you know, somebody that's really against you, somebody that's mad at you. Knight of Wands, sorry. Um, this person's very inconsistent. Four of Cups. This person's worried about them missing out on an opportunity and you getting it, right? They're worried that, you know, Maybe the boss or whoever, whatever this is that you're going for, house, a home, a car, whatever, right? Who freaking knows? Um, this person's worried that you're going to get this. This could also be in love, but I feel like this is more of a career thing, okay? But um, take it how it resonates for you guys, but I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, you know... This could be something that you've invested so much into, so much time. You could have went to school, okay? You could have, like, done so much for this, okay? So, let's see. Is this something that's meant for you? You have the Nine of Cups. This is like a dream of yours, okay? And the Nine of Wands. Don't let what people are doing or saying stop you from moving forward towards the things that you want. Don't buckle down under pressure. Don't fade away, right? Stand out. Like, keep on pushing forward. You have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is something that's meant for you. OK, this can also be that maybe you guys are in a connection that maybe something like, let's say, you know, love may be in the way of like your success for some of you guys. OK, take it how it resonates for you. Somebody may be mad that you are moving up and you're really focused on your career and you may be moving and leaving them behind. Right. With the chariot journey, physically, mentally hard for you. You have the five of cups. Yeah. So this could be coming with an with a loss. But after this loss comes healing and f things falling into alignment. And you have the two of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like whatever happens, you're not going to be questioning anything. I feel like you kind of know what it is that you want. And you kind of know what it is that's up, right? With the queen of wands, I feel like you already made up your mind. You already made plans. And I feel like you guys are going to follow through with this. I do feel like you guys deserve whatever this is. This new beginning, this raise, this uh, promotion, this new business, this new home, this, whatever this is. Even a new beginning for yourself. I do feel like you guys are manifesting that, okay? So stand strong, stay positive for this. Listen to your intuition, okay? Don't feed into drama. Don't feed into negative thinking. And then you have inspiration, now or never. I feel like this person, whoever this is that's in the way of whatever this is that you're trying to get, it's like you're an inspiration to other people. I feel like you really stand out, and this person may be jealous of your light. Okay? Children. Okay, this person may act like a child here. And um, they may come in the way of this. They definitely act like a child. You have mental health, okay? So this person may have some issues. Um... So I do feel like this person's going to try to, like, rock the boat is what I just heard in my head. Don't let them stand strong, okay? I feel like if you feed into the drama, it may look bad for you. So stand strong. Be the bigger one here. High Priestess. You had intuition and High Priestess. I feel like you already know what to do. I feel like you know exactly who this person is that I'm talking about. If this reading resonates for you. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You could have been dealing with this person for a long time. This person could be jealous of your success, jealous of your growth, jealous of, you know, your light and your personality and just who you are. You might be very attractive or have a really good personality and this person's really freaking not liking it with the magician. And they see that you have everything that you need. Whoever this person is, they are really jealous of like your psychicness your intuition, your gifts, um, people 
you know, it's like you stand out. You might be in a public eye. Whatever this is with the Ace of Pentacles too. Some of, some of you guys may be trying to create your own business from your own, like, uh, talents, right? And I feel like you guys are standing out more. You're getting more attention. This person does not like that, okay? This doesn't even have to be at work. But this could be a lot of competition in your career or whatever it is that you guys are doing. Like, um, you might not have, like, a work site. You might have people, let's say, um, your social media. You might have people who are jealous of you. Right, people that don't want to support you because they see that it's meant for you. So there's some jealous people out there, of course, in this world. It's crazy. Anyhow, let's get some guidance. Eight of Wands, keep on pushing forward. I'm hearing this is meant mm -hmm. for you. The Ace of Wands. And then you have the Death mm -hmm. card, okay? There's major changes coming in for you. I feel like you guys grown so much. And whatever it is that you guys are doing is going to grow too as well. You know, I don't think you've reached your full um, top part yet. I feel like there's so much more to come. This might be something that's at the very beginning, right? But I feel like you guys know this is meant for you. Whatever this is, this spot, this job, this career, whatever this is, I feel like you guys have the strength to overcome any challenges that come in your way because you guys made so much changes. I feel like mentally you are strong enough to get through anything, right? Um, you have the Ace of Wands. So some of you guys are relocating, getting new homes. Some of you guys are working from home. Some of you guys work as communicators, okay? But I do feel like uh, whatever this is that you guys are trying to do, don't let anybody block you or don't let your doubts or fears stop you, okay? Don't let anybody try to coerce you or talk you into not doing this because I do feel like this is something that's meant for you. And intuitively, you know this. Some of you guys are psychic healers. Some of you guys are tarot readers. Some of you guys are thinking about doing this. Some of you guys are... I just heard angels. So some of you guys may have like an angelic presences. Some of you guys may be doctors, counselors, you know, people that help out other people. Whatever way that you are helping other people, even if it's not for your job, I feel like, you know, you guys are helpers. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. You got to learn how to say no. There's a lot of success coming in for you, okay? There's a lot of success. And also with the devil on the bottom of the deck, I feel like you guys are ending a lot of, like, toxic cycles. Anything or anybody that's in the way of your success, anybody that's in the way of whatever it is that you're trying to get, you're closing those cycles. You're not helping them anymore. You're not doing things for them anymore. You're not giving them money or, you know, letting them walk all over you or control what it is that you want to do anymore. You're totally just focused on you. So I'm going to use some of my career cards since it's a career reading you have soul tribe you have the artist like i said you guys are using your creative your creativity to get you guys to where you need to be some of you guys are in photography design music acting art anything in the creative field writing music writing songs poems you have surprise so expect the unexpected Expect the universe to pleasantly surprise you. Oh, my lordy. Everything will be revealed to you, and you have luck. Like, I'm telling you guys, and then you have slow. Even though it's slow, it's good to go slow, because when you're going slow, you can see those little roadblocks, what's in your way, and then you can remove them and then continue along your way. If you're going too fast, you may trip over something that you don't see coming, and you might have to go backwards and kind of fix some things. So let it go at the pace that it's going and try not to rush it okay trust the process okay i do feel like it says anything that you do now will be very prosperous for you if you believe that you're lucky you'll create an abundant mindset your perspective is stifling your growth and stomping on your luck so try to see yourself as if you already have it okay so this way you can create it in your mind's eye once you create it in your mind's eye you could create it in your reality okay so let's get one of these Oracle cards. Build on solid ground. And then live life to the fullest. Okay, so this is about living your life for you and doing the things that make you happy. If it feels good, do it. Doesn't matter what other people say, what other people feel, right? Live your life to the fullest. We only have one life to live, right? 
and it says go for your dreams on the bottom of the deck. So really go for this, okay? Don't hold yourself back. Don't think, you know, it's not meant for you because it is. If that's what you're feeling, this is definitely meant for you. So do everything that you can in order to get it, okay? Don't let yourself make any excuses for yourself. Believe me, I've been there, um, <laughs> you know, but that's easy. We can change ourselves. We can fix things for ourselves, right? So we can change the outcome. We can change the future. We can make it what we want it to be. We just have to believe that, okay? So anyway, that's what I got for you guys. I hope it resonates, and I hope you guys have a great night. Toodles.